Hello, it's me, Radhika. Welcome to the December vlog. I'm recording this bit in 2021, so Happy New Year to you guys. This year has already gone off to a ridiculous start, so I hope you get to chill out while watching this video. I was also incredibly busy packing orders because I had the hugest shop update of the year. There was something around 700 orders for the holiday update, so thank you so much if you ordered something from my shop. And towards the end of the month, I got to relax a little bit. I got my first tattoo and I made a snowman. So that was pretty fun. Once again, this is going to be another thick vlog. I don't know why I keep telling you guys to bring a snack cause y'all need a five course meal when you watch this. I don't know, maybe you can play this while you're doing the laundry or drawing, whatever it is. I hope you enjoy and let's just jump into it. See you at the end. I think that's what it's called. I got my print paper from there as well. I really like them. So I wanted to just like keep it all in one place. And so I have bought that. It is also shipping on the way. And hopefully next week I'll be able to actually print out the stickers. But today we're going to do two things. Sorry, I keep rambling. We're going to do two things. Number one. So I'm just stamping these envelopes with my P.O. Box address. This will be for the sticker mail. I do this ahead of time and then I will handwrite the address of whoever it's going to. I didn't even see that there was a number missing on my P.O. box. I think it popped off the stamp, so I had to write it back onto the envelopes. And right now I am just adding a do not bend on the corner. I really want to design my own do not bend stamp, but I'm still watching Anusha Syed's vlog and trying to get through the stack of envelopes for the sticker mail. I have a huge stack of ornaments going. I cut the twine, which is cotton, and then I will be using the scraps from the felt to pad the insides just a little bit. And the last step will be gluing on the stars, and then it'll look like one of these guys. I do have some extra, but that extra is actually going to friends and family as gifts. Look how beautiful these babies are. I made so many. I made 50 and <laughs> these definitely took a lot out of me, but I wanted to make enough because I knew people were going to like some ornaments for this holiday and they look so funny, but also so beautiful together. It's just like this massive army of Gunith. There's some more over here. And I just got my Paper Mart glassine bag replacement because they sent me the wrong thing before and today I'm going to finish up some last things before I start packing orders, writing the thank you notes, and I also am putting together a separate video on how I pack orders and just a little bit about running my business. I put some coffee on, coffee is being made in the background, I'm going to sit down, Fran uploaded a new vlog, I'm going to have a little bit of breakfast, some coffee, and also paint my nails. little shift in camera angle. I finished Fran's vlog and I'm done painting my nails. Today is Friday, December 11th. Today is the last day my shop will be open for physical orders for this year. The next time it will open will be in spring of 2021. I don't have a concrete date yet. I will have the printables and downloadables available until Christmas and then I will have my shop closed and I will take a big nap. I will relax and I will finally work on my Animal Crossing island, okay? I chopped down all the trees and then I realized I didn't have bells to move my residence around so I can't terraform. So it's just this bare island with nothing. And I really hope my favorite villager did not leave. I didn't even get to experience fall in my island, okay? I digress. I painted my nails. I painted them this beautiful pink and lavender combination. I used to be very insecure about painting my nails light colors because I would just stick to black nail polish. I went through an emo phase. I mean, do we ever truly exit the emo phase? Probably not. But I wanted to do a fun, bold color combination. And I would be very self-conscious because there was a lack of representation on what it would look like on 
my skin tone or even darker so I was always afraid that it looked a little flashy I don't know I'm starting to feel a bit more comfortable with wearing lighter like pastel toned makeup and nail polish and clothes colors that will complement my skin because I was in this weird period of yeah maybe blue eyeshadow does not complement my skin tone but maybe there are different shades of blue or different shades of pink that work well with my skin I used these two nail polishes by Olive and June they are vegan and cruelty free not sponsored I just happened to stumble across this brand. I am very glad that I have found a nail polish that works for me. This is the color JM and Bold and Unshaken. I rarely wear nail polish because I work with my hands a lot so very quickly the nail polish will start to chip and deteriorate or just get covered in other paints so I can never truly keep my nails long or well manicured at all times and this is just a thing that I do for self-care. I got a few things in the mail. Something really nice that happened this year is that New York City went through with a plastic bag ban. So plastic bags are not allowed anymore. And instead it's a bring your own bag policy. And if you do need a bag, it'll be a paper bag for like a five or 20 cent fee. So I got my mom into the habit of using Bagu, which is a reusable bag. I really like it because they come in a variety of sizes and they have really funky designs. I like that they fold up really small so they don't take up too much space. If you're popping outside to get groceries or personally for me, I use these to drop off orders at the post office. So I'm really glad that I have gotten her into the habit of bringing her own reusable bags. I also ordered some more designs. There was like a mushroom print and this like wave print. They have really cool designs and I love it. Even before the bag ban, I would always bring my reusable bags. It's just a habit that I've instilled in myself. As you may know, I am finally in a position to consider moving in the near future, maybe next year, hopefully next year, either on my own or more conveniently with my partner. That way it'll be easier on both of us. So I have started to accumulate things for my future apartment. I really love getting secondhand items. I got these tulip juice glasses off of Etsy and this came in a set of three. I wish there were four but honestly I only technically need two. I really love the design. I love tulips. They're probably one of my favorite flowers. It's like in the top three um, and I think this is really lovely. I have to go wash these. It's nice that I can actually manifest all of these things because throughout college and just throughout a majority of my life I've been in survival mode of like gotta go to school and get this degree, gotta pay off my loans, gotta go to my day job which I don't have anymore because I got laid off and then now it's more so wow I'm actually able to sustain myself thanks to you guys and I can start considering putting together a Patreon. I would literally wake up in the morning and like have a panic attack as to whether or not I would actually have a job in what I'm pursuing and if I would even be able to make those monthly loan repayment, let alone paying my own rent, bills, utilities, etc. And lastly, Paper Mart finally sent me the right size glassine bags. As you may know, I am trying to transition my shop to be completely plastic free. The only plastic that I use at the moment is a compostable plastic, but to me, it just does not sit right with my soul. So I'm trying to make sure that everything is packaged with paper. So these are the largest size glassine bags they offer. And Paper Mart, I ordered a case of 1000, which is what just the volume I need for my store. And they fit my prints. So essentially what I'll do is close the flap and then, you know, tape back the excess. And glassine is made of paper. It is 100% recyclable. I always recommend reusing things before you recycle them because recycling also takes up energy and they aren't waterproof but they're water resistant which is good enough for me because I know a lot of people will package things in clear plastic because it just looks more aesthetic but you know what is even more aesthetic than that? Preserving nature and not putting microplastics and single-use plastics back into the environment because that's always somehow where they end up. I'm very excited to transition my shop into being plastic free. That is all I have for now. I will start compiling my notes for my video on how to pack orders and I shall catch you later. Some days I'm able to sit down and meditate for 25 or 30 minutes. Some days I only feel capable of doing five. The idea for me is to be able to eat foods that nourish my body and at the same time make me very happy. And of course, it's always better if we can share it with someone we love. That's like putting yourself out there and, and, you know, getting, you know, people telling you what they think and, and good and good, bad, whatever feedback, just in general.
I'm always really interested to read other people's writing about their work, but I'm always like, nah, people are not gonna care. Like, I'm just gonna throw the work out there. Like, people don't care what I have to say. I think they do. I think y'all being in this chat really like helps me learn that because the assumption is always to make myself smaller, if that makes sense. But it does feel good. That's not me being ungrateful. That's just me being self-critical, but it does feel really good. And in the future, I want to engage more with it. I realize these are noise cancelling so I can't actually hear myself talk. I have some prints that I'm gonna finish signing. I have to take a little product photo for a studio. I just finished watching Vicky, Paloma, and Tiffany's premiere all in one go. I didn't know if I should film the how to pack orders today, but tomorrow it's raining and I'm on a bit of a time crunch to make sure everything is packed and ready before December 18th, so I think I'm going to film that today while the light is up and take these photos. Hi, it is the evening now. I feel a little bit scattered. I woke up really late and then I just didn't feel as motivated, but then I put some makeup on and then I kind of felt obliged to do work. It's really weird, but I just finished up filming a little bit of the how I pack orders and that'll be in a separate video. I'm feeling really tired right now, but I'm trying to take things really slowly. Uh, we have packing going on in the back and also on the table right here. Something fun that I did was become a patron of Cheyenne Burton. I've just been binging like everyone's vlogs left and right because I've watched everything at this point. So I knew she did podcasts and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be her patron because I have this sticky note. I have a bunch of sticky notes on the side of my shelf and one of them is all of the subscriptions I have like Spotify, Apple, Nintendo, Netflix, and a bunch of stuff and I, I put that there specifically so I can be like, hey, if my money is going to big corporations, my money should also be going to smaller creators that are on Patreon and I hope that one day I'm able to open a Patreon that is something I am heavily considering and already putting together. Yeah, I forgot to eat today, which wasn't good. I was overworking myself and then I had to like sit down. I had to call Julian and be like, yeah, I'm not not feeling that great. I'm not taking care of myself properly. And now I've sort of sat down. I, I ate, I sat down, filmed a little bit, and now I am just packing orders, but I'm not rushing through it. I want to drop off all of the orders by Friday the 18th. I have one, two, three, four, five days to pack all 600-ish orders. It'll be a lot because I'm the only person doing the packing. Just wanted to check in. I think I look very cute today. I'm just gonna continuously chip away at packing orders and that way I won't fall into the same situation as last time. <laughs> Good morning, happy Monday. It is the 14th. My parents just got home, so it might be a little rowdy in the background. I packed about 60 orders last night and they all have their shipping labels ready and everything. And look at this big bagu I got. This is crazy, this is the size of me. This and this tote bag that I got back when I went to Oakland. And, well, yes? Yeah, I'll be down. Yeah, anyways, um, I literally just woke up, washed my face, realized I ran out of toothpaste, so I used uh, some toothpaste tabs that I had. I saw that my parents were outside, so I was just like, oh, they took the car. 
let me quickly call them and ask if we can take the car to the post office because I don't want to carry this. Neither do I want to break out the wagon because it's raining today. This is what I'll be doing for the next couple of days. I'm gonna be packing orders. My B12 shot has been working really well. I have been sleeping a full eight hours, but the problem is I usually go to sleep at three or four. So if you add eight hours to it, I'll be waking up at like 11 or 12. The math is probably wrong. Definitely need to actually have a bedtime if I want to wake up early. Otherwise I will just sleep through my alarm. All right, I'm gonna waste no more time. I didn't even eat breakfast yet, but I'm gonna quickly go drop these off at the post office. I have some stamped mail in the corner over there, which I need to drop off in the little blue bin and I'll be back whenever I am back. <laughs> Bye. I'm back from the post office. Kuni is scratching at the door. Come here, honey. Boogie cat, come here. Meow. Meow. Come here is Kuni. He's a baby. Do you want to see what I got today? So after I went to the post office, I got myself a recording microphone because I want to do podcasts and also have voiceovers that aren't crunchy or crispy because the first vlog that I had, I used this microphone. I wanted to do podcasts for whenever I launch a Patreon because I think it would be fun to do not only just some casual videos, but to have like a little podcast going on. Today will be yet another day of packing. I need to pack way more orders than I did yesterday. And hopefully if I do that every single day by December 18th, I will have all orders ready and shipped off and I can relax and I can play Animal Crossing and it'll be a good time. I will have a well worthy break for myself. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna maybe make myself a matcha or some coffee, eat something, and then just take it slow. I made myself a very beautiful matcha latte. I'm not a fan of milky drinks, but I do like matcha lattes. What? What? You're a big baby that scratches on the door all the time. <coughs> Why do you be complaining here? You can stay here. Sit, 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 sit. I also made some oatmeal. Hi. Hi, baby. Mm. You want matcha latte? Yum. He don't want matcha latte. Going to check some emails and then I will start packing again. Hi, I'm back because I am working on emails and yeah, emails. Emails take a lot of time. There's so many people that tipped me on Kofi and I'm so, uh, just, ah, uh, it's, it's, sometimes I'm like, wow, people want to pay money to buy my artwork? What? Even with Patreon, I'm just like, I'm going to launch this thing and just no one's going to pay attention to it. No one's going to care and it's whatever. I've just made so much progress and I'm like, wow, people love to support artists and thank you uh if you didn't know kofi is a platform where you can tip creators for the price of a coffee so mine is set at three dollars and i always leave the link to my kofi in my instagram bio and also in the description of my videos and people leave the sweetest comments they're like i love your vlogs i hope this helps to continue what you're doing or people internationally will be like Cheers from France! And I'm like, wow, people around the world want to support me? <laughs> like, every time I get international orders, I'm like, oof, that shipping price do be thick. But this person loves my work enough to be like, I'm gonna buy this thing. And in two months, it'll arrive in my home. This gives me hope that when I launch a Patreon, things will be good enough. Good enough is all I need. Even if you are unable to financially support me either buying to the shop or tipping me on Kofi, literally following my work, engaging with my work, sharing my work is more than enough for me to make that connection with all of these people on the internet without even seeing them is just something on its own magnitude. I thought I would do a little unboxing of this mic. How do I open this? Hello. Someone also asked me if like the partnerships that I do are paid and if it is a paid partnership like on Instagram, it'll explicitly be written right under my username, paid partnership with name of brand. And most of these are on a product exchange basis. So a company will send me these products and I will share them with you guys. And I only choose to work with companies that I feel morally aligned with. So there have been like fast fashion brands who are like, we want to send you clothes. And I'm just like, no thanks. And if anything is a affiliate link where I get a commission, I will definitely tell you guys. There are occasional brands that are like, hey, we want to send you like art supplies or like this desk, for example, which was honestly, this has changed my life completely. Things that actually are useful. Uh, Cause I think there's this 
desire to just have things for free, but as someone who doesn't need so much stuff, there are certain things that I just have to decline. I wanted to get one of these secondhand, but I also feel weird about buying technology secondhand because I grew up low income and practically every piece of technology I had was secondhand and falling apart. So there's this weird association with that I have a job or well, I used to have a job and now I'm self-employed. Now I can actually purchase things that are new and it feels nice to buy something that's new. Also, there was this fear of buying things that are secondhand, especially with pieces of technology and for it to like not be working. I don't know, but that's just one area that I don't feel too comfortable with purchasing secondhand. So I got this new from Best Buy. Ooh, okay. Instructions, which I never really read. Oh, this is big, okay. And it's heavy. Ooh, let me not break everything. It flips this way, I think. I'm going to test it out and see how this works. Hopefully the audio will be nice and crispy and I won't spend my time uh, doing voiceovers and struggling with that little microphone. Would you look at that? It's Mr. Helpful sitting on my things. Hmm? Mr. Helpful just sitting on my stuff. I just set up the mic with my headphones. This will be great for when I want to do a draw with me. And something else came in the mail. My arm is twisted all the way, but I got the cutest froggy mug. This was secondhand off of eBay. I always tell Julian how much he looks like a frog, but in the best, sweetest, kindest way possible. He's a very big tea drinker, so I think he will enjoy this quite a lot. My mom made me my favorite meal. This is some chickpea curry and brown rice. I've been very bad at feeding myself whenever I'm busy. Shout out to my mom for making me this yummy food because I'm definitely gonna need it. Hello, it is currently 1.20 in the morning. I may have overworked myself today, but I finished packing 150 orders. I cleaned up my room, so whenever I have an order packing week, I will use my bed space and my desk. And then when I'm done, I kind of shove everything to a corner instead of putting everything away in the closet in the hallway or putting everything away in the shelf. We have like big bagus filled with orders and right now I am going to go shower because I am stinky and I am greasy and I don't want to fall asleep stinky and greasy. Plus I also have therapy in the morning and then after that I have to get another B12 shot in the afternoon. I'll have a busy morning and I don't want to wake up and shower. I want to shower and get it over with. I think we also have a snowstorm on Wednesday which is gonna be fun. We had our first snow over the weekend, but it was just like a drizzle of snow that didn't even stick to the ground because in New York we don't have beautiful snowy days. Anytime we have a snow day, within hours everything just turns into dirty slush and yellow snow. Yeah, there's no winter wonderland here. Also climate change. Why is it the middle to end of December and it's still hot outside? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna waste no time. I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Good morning, happy Tuesday. It is December. 15th. I have a very busy day ahead of me. Now I have to print the shipping labels for all of the orders I finished up last night. Then I will drop off the orders and then go see my doctor and then come back and pack some more orders. But I want to do a little bit of catching up because I feel like I've just been working and working. Over the weekend, Julian and I made dumplings from scratch. The skins were store-bought, but we made some kimchi and mushroom dumplings. And then we watched Adventure Time Obsidian, and now all I can think about is Bubbleine. I really want to do some fan art of them because fan art is something that I miss doing. And I also got some more fabric. So I got the custom fabric printed through Spoonflower. This is my own design. I got three yards of it. I want to make pencil cases or like patchwork pencil cases. I like this because it's manufactured in North Carolina, so it's made in the US. I try to keep as much manufacturing within the US. However, there are certain things like enamel pins and like washi tape that's made in China. And even those pin brands that are like American are actually a middleman that jack up the prices, but the pins are actually manufactured in China. I know I talk a lot about sustainability and how I like try not to use plastic, I try not to engage in fast fashion, and I don't eat animals, but none of this is to shame any of you guys or make you feel guilty because if it's anything, I hate when wealthy people tell working class people of color how to ethically consume. And 
Some people are just trying to survive and that's totally okay and you should never have to apologize for the way you live. Sorry, I went off on a complete tangent, but I just want you guys to know that you shouldn't feel guilty for your choices. I hope that everything that I say like is encouraging for you to understand how much our individual choices unfortunately have to make those demands and how we have to take our conversations directly to these companies to push them to make better choices. Fast fashion companies will realize that fast fashion isn't cool. It's actually very threatening for other groups of people and we just happen to benefit from it. These were also things that I never knew about and when I started to learn I was like wow this is really shitty. I don't want to engage in it but at the same time I'm not a perfect person. No one is perfect and we can do everything that we can collectively to make the world a better place. Big tangent. It's something that's very important important to me and I hope that it's important to you too and in any way helpful. I got something really nice in the mail, not sponsored, but BenQ sent me one of their desk lamps and for the longest time I've had this Ot light for more than 10 years. It's okay but it's not the best and I'm gonna unbox this and see if it's any better. Then he reached out to me, they were like, we saw your YouTube videos and we want to send you a desk lamp. And I was like, sure thing because I actually needed a brighter desk lamp. Oh, this is big! Okay, yeah, I'm gonna read the instructions and I'll be back. Wait, are you guys seeing this? This looks so funny. It reminds me of the Pixar lamp. It's really heavy. They have a round base and they also have a clamp attachment, but I'll plug it in and I'll show you guys how it works because this has some pretty cool features that I haven't seen in traditional desk lamps, so we'll have this experience together. I just finished setting up the lamp. It's actually very easy to use because I knew the light was dimmable, so I was like, this is going to be complex. But it's quite easy, actually. To turn it on, you tap the ring, and then the dial controls the brightness, so you can see it's really, really bright. And you can turn the brightness down, so it's easier on the eyes. If you tap the dial, you can interchange between cool light and then really, really warm light. Personally, I like it to be in the middle. And another function that they have is if you tap and hold the ring for two seconds, it interchanges between screen mode and reading mode. So these presets help in between when you're reading or when you're looking at a screen. So when you're reading, it gives off a cool light. And then if you tap and hold it for two seconds, it uses warm light for when you're using a screen to cancel out the blue light. I'm assuming that's how the logic works, but I could be wrong. Personally, I am already enjoying this lamp because first of all, it's really big. Like, it's big without taking up a bunch of space. It's just the base that's quite big. And the fact that it has a swing arm also makes it easier so I can extend it or retract it. I have a pretty wide desk, so I really don't like when I have a lamp that only focuses light in one area and I have to like physically move the lamp to that area. I think this will help my workflow a lot, especially as someone who's a night owl and the last thing I want is for my eyes to get strained because I don't have enough light to draw. And another thing is that my desk does not face a window, so sometimes the lighting is a little bit uneven, so even during the day I will use a little bit of artificial light if I'm doing detailed work. So if you want to get one of these babies for yourself, this is the BenQ e-reading desk lamp. I'll leave all the links in the description. There is an Amazon link, and if you don't want to buy through Amazon, they also have a link that goes directly to their website so you can buy from there instead. Thanks again to BenQ for sending me this really cool futuristic lamp. I think it'll definitely enhance my work. Right now it's 12.20, I'm going to go and print out all of the shipping labels for these orders. What you're seeing right here is about 150 orders and whenever I have huge shop updates, I like to pack the orders in batches and that way it's easier for me to manage. I will pack them and then buy the shipping labels and then send it out and that way I know what's fulfilled and then what I have remaining to pack. I just finished printing all the labels. I have two massive bags filled with orders. And then I have another bag right here. Time to go to the post office. Hello, I just got back home. I dropped off a huge batch of orders and then I got some stuff in the mail. I got this, uh, 
this Dyson vacuum head attachment for hardwood floors because we've been using the regular head and this one has been quieter and also more efficient. Kuni eats treats and leaves little bits behind so when I use a regular vacuum head they kind of like shoot everywhere but this one actually catches chunks of snacks that he leaves behind. Some toothpaste from Target and a period cup because when you're an adult, you start to have joy in things that are like household goods and things that you need. I don't like using pads and I don't like using tampons because they're uncomfortable and also wasteful. So I'm hoping that this in combination with the period underwear that I have from Thinks will be a nice replacement. I've also never used a period cup in my life, so I hope that this is a nice alternative and works for me. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. But I wanted to take a shot and try this. I'm gonna heat up some of the brown rice and chickpea curry, eat my late lunch, and then pack some more orders. My pee now. Um, yes, yes. Because I think it got to a point where I was having two sugars in my tea and I was like, this is too sweet. Also, I wish that y'all could see Sophie. I'm gonna, maybe I could put a photo of her as like the- Good morning. My room is a bit of a packing nightmare. I slept at 5 a.m. because I finished writing the rest of the 350-ish to 400 order notes, only to realize that I'm short on mailers. So I literally grabbed all of my mailers, did a count, I looked at all of my orders, and tallied which size mailer they need. I don't know how it's gonna go. I think I have enough mailers. It's just that I'm running out of rigid mailers. So I was in a bit of a panic. I was feeling a little dumb because I undershot myself once again. I packed a substantial amount of orders last night. I have this bag and this bag over here. This is about 200 orders. So a little bit more than yesterday. Today and tomorrow we're having a huge snowstorm in New York City. So I don't want to get caught in that, and today I will have to bust out the wagon. <laughs> Is it for me? <laughs> for me? For you? Hmm? No Burger King for cats. No Burger King for cats. Thank you. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, baby. No more chicken. No more chicken for Kuni. It is now almost 10 p.m. Julian just left and we got back home right before it started to snow snow and the snow is actually sticking to the ground Which is rare. I feel very nice and cozy. The heat is on. I decided to take a break from packing today But I will resume to pack the rest of the I think 280 orders Early tomorrow morning so that I can drop them off on Friday and I'll be done. I showed Julian this froggy mug that I got him that he forgot to take with him. Uh, guess it's mine now. No, I'm kidding. Tomorrow marks us being together for three years, which is really cool. Time has flown by so quickly, and I guess that happens when you're with someone that helps you grow faster and in a positive way. And I'm very grateful to have someone that's both my partner and my best friend. We were also looking at apartments together because I want to move sometime next year and that all depends on whether or not I have the finances and if my money stabilizes because my parents do not have disposable income so we're already kind of just trying to make ends meet and I'm sort of just trying to make money straight out of college so things are difficult but things are looking a bit more promising for me and I want to make sure that I am able to hand that financial responsibility all on my own. Uh, on the way back from the post office I got these two teas I really like this brand. This blueberry green tea smells really good. And then I also got a postcard in the mail. This is from my friend Kaylin. They also go as Bird on their social media. What a bunch of cuties. 
and there's an illustration on the back. You should also check out their Instagram because when we were in school, I would always be jealous of their sketchbook and turns out it was a mutual feeling. And I'm glad that we've kept in touch even after graduating. Oh, I also started to use my period cup today and I wanna say sorry for the TMI, but I shouldn't apologize for a very normal function of my body. People menstruate. I think it's a very normal bodily thing and I don't know why people get grossed out by periods or period blood because period blood and blood from childbirth are the only types of blood that's shed without violence yet people get so grossed out by it. I need sleep. I'm tired. Just see you in the morning. Hello, good afternoon. Today is December 17th. I'm drinking more of that blueberry green tea today. I have my entire room laid out for order packing. This will be the last batch and I am so pumped to just take a break. Now I'll actually have time to buckle down and make videos that aren't just vlogs. Not that I don't enjoy putting vlogs together, but I definitely want to have more fun stuff like a draw with me and y'all are still due for a sketchbook tour. I genuinely feel as though when there's more daylight, I'm more motivated to work, but when the sun goes down, I'm like, no. It's 1.25 p.m. right now. I'm going to start packing orders. Today also marks three years that Julian and I have been together. So Julian, if you're watching, thanks for being a wonderful, supportive, healthy, amazing partner to me. And I hope that there's many more years of that because I used to be scared of people and now I'm starting to be okay with people in my life. Mostly because I think I can operate on my own, but that's not the case sometimes. And sometimes it's okay to ask for help and it's okay to allow people into the more vulnerable parts in your life. I'm gonna start packing orders. The goal is to get everything done by today. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. <laughs> She's helping me step the others. <laughs> Maybe you will get a Mama Ramen mailer. Oh, you don't like the harness, huh? Because you don't want to go outside. But I want to take you out in the snow. He's so angry. Don't move his head. So angry. Oh, baby. Queenie. Oh. Ah, angry. <laughs> Here is how it's going. I have been eating chickpea curry leftover for days. I'm not sick of it because it's so tasty. This is the last bit. And I'm having a bit of mango juice. And then my dad finally found my beautiful Lucky Cat mug, which I have not seen in years. Like, I bought this two years ago. This was from Earn Outfitters. And I originally used it for my plants, but then the plant that was in it died. So I just had it in a shelf and then I just never found it again and it escaped my memory and I think a few weeks ago Fran had this exact thing on her story and I was like wait I also own that where is it where did it go and the tail is a little bit awkward so it's a little annoying to hold as a actual mug so instead I put my detailed paintbrushes in it these paintbrushes were actually given to me by Caro. She is another amazing, beautiful, visionary artist, and I'm very grateful to be using the same magical tools that she had once in her hands. So thank you for that. And listening to a podcast, getting work done. Those are the orders that I've chipped through so far. Yeah, just a bunch more to go. It is 9 p.m. I have reached order number 1,585. I think I have up to like 1,740. I left a note for my downstairs neighbor being like, hey, I'm gonna be noisy tonight. So if you hear moving around on the bedroom floor, that's me packing a huge amount of orders. It's 11.24 PM. I'm up to order number 1,678. So very, very close to being done. I'm rubbing some Tiger Balm on my shoulder because I feel this really weird bundle of nerves that's just really sore and I don't know from what. Asian followers, you will understand what a huge staple Tiger Balm and Vicks Vaporub is to your household. My dad and my brother was helping me put the water activated tape onto the mailers because I underestimated how many orders I was gonna get and thought I only needed one roll of tape. I have like less than 50 orders to go and then all I have to do 
is away the packages, print the labels, and drop it off at USPS tomorrow morning. It is 2.04 in the morning. I have just finished packing 278 orders. I'm wearing these comfy Daiso socks. I think I need to put a rug near my desk. The bottom of my feet are so flat and red and sore because I didn't realize I've been standing for more than 12 hours. Obviously like I took breaks and sat down but for a majority of the time I've been standing. So I have boxes on the bed and then I have hold on, bags on the floor filled with orders. On my desk I have printing stuff and after this I'm ready to KO. Like tomorrow will be technically the last time I bust out the wagon. You can see that my eyes are like ready to just sleep. Also I've been wearing the same King Dodongo shirt for like three days, four days. I don't know, I've lost perception of time. Do I care? Not really. Am I stinky? <laughs> Not yet. Good morning. It is Friday, December 18th, so the last day to drop off orders at USPS so that they arrive in time for Christmas. This is for domestic orders, but after seeing lots of photos on the internet, I'm just like, yeah, there's definitely going to be delays. Thanks for being patient with me. Thanks for bearing with me. I packed 280 something orders yesterday. I don't know how I physically did it, but I did it. 80% of the way through, I realized that I ran out of shipping labels and I was like, Oh my god. It's almost three o'clock right now. The post office closes at five and I know there's going to be a huge line. I am going to go there right now. Look at my nails. My nails were perfectly fine at the beginning of this week and now they're just demolished. I have all of the orders over there and I'm gonna bring them down one bag at a time. Thank you so much. Thank you so so much for ordering for letting me do all of this, I realized that I need a studio assistant. I need an apartment, I need a studio, I need a studio assistant, and I just need things to make my workflow easier because this is a physical labor that one person just cannot handle. And I wanna make sure I pour that time and energy into creating so that I, there's more content because obviously I'm an illustrator, but also I am the only person that like does all of this. So I like film, photograph, edit all of my stuff. I make the illustrations, I have it produced and I'm also like doing the bookkeeping and I'm like trying to do inventory and it's it's a lot for one person to handle. And oh, my tattoo appointment is on Sunday. I know my parents are gonna hate it because they're like, we don't want our children to have tattoos. And I'm like, well, I said I was gonna do it. You'll see what it is. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I need to go, bye. <laughs> I made the biggest bowl of mushroom noodles. This thing is the size of my face. More mango nectar, hot chili oil, shichimi togarashi, which is Japanese seven spice, water, and I'm about to play and catch up on some vlogs. I'm so excited. This is my favorite comfort food, so this was very much well deserved for today. Look, it's got a little kitty. A little posty kitty. It, it's all wrapped plastic free, which I love. This is her cat, Cooney, who, if you don't know, um, is a rock star and you should know. <laughs> she sent me. Good morning. Today is December 20th and it is the day I will get my first tattoo. By the time you see this, maybe you might have already seen what it is on Instagram, or maybe you haven't. It is a design by one of my peers from SVA. My <laughs> parents are gonna hate it, but I love it and it was my decision. And also it's going on my body, so there's also that. My appointment is like in 15 minutes, so I got a jet. Julian's gonna be there with me. I'm slightly nervous and also very excited. I don't know what to expect, we'll find out. <laughs> I'm gonna forget this. We have one of these on my dad's
My frog soul exited his body and went into your statue. Mortal. That's fire. <laughs> it's a froggy! Froggy is complete. <laughs> He's so soft. Soft baby. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Little baby. Hi. Look at the ginger babies. Little baby. Lion King. Oh. Hello, reporting to you from my desk. I realized that when I got home I didn't film anything, which is fine because I am on break. I'm giving myself the time and the space to relax. I only answered one email today and I'm making a good effort to not work on the weekends. This is the boy. It looks kind of weird and gross right now because there's like a, it's called like a second skin. It's basically a clear bandage that goes on top of it to help it heal and to protect it from germs and bacteria. Yeah, I I love it. I think it's pretty dope. Tomorrow's my brother's birthday. I actually finished putting some glitter stars on that felt Daiso happy birthday banner that I got. I'll show you guys tomorrow morning. We're making a lovely vegan bundt cake. Julian is coming over. Julian's the only person that I really like see. Julian got me some gifts. He gave me my like holiday gifts early. He got me this little frog light from shop Zoki. There is a local black women-owned business in Julian's neighborhood that does body products and this is a vegan body butter that smells really good. And then he also got me this chamomile peach lavender vegan soap bar. It smells so good. I wish you could smell this through the screen. And then I popped into Whole Foods. I usually hate Whole Foods because I can barely afford half the foods. But <laughs> I got myself this rose water and glycerin spray. I have really, really dry skin on my legs. And my mom, she was like, rose water and glycerin is good for dry, cracked skin. I am Bengali and this New York City climate is not my natural climate. So I'm like a little amphibian. That's... Those are gunshots. Okay. Or fireworks? We'll never know. New York City things. Anyways, yeah, so Bangladesh is hot and humid, so we're amphibians that need moisture. So in the winter, it's over for me. I'm like dry and shriveled. I'm really tired. My switch is next to my bed. I think I might go play some Katamari and then I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It is December 21st. Today is my brother's birthday, which is a little wild considering that I spent my birthday in quarantine and we're still in quarantine. Anyways, I printed out this card for him. This is designed by Tiffany, uh, Apple Cheeks. You might have seen her work, but she partnered with HP to do some holiday printables. And then <laughs> I wrote on the inside, I got him a secondhand switch light. I bought it off of one of my mutual friends. My tattoo is doing all right. We're gonna make a bunt cake today. Got some presents for my parents as well. I got my dad a cat sweater by Piper Blue. I got my mom a Dyson fan. And then I also got her a Hydro Flask. I have a really big one right here. This is a 32 ounce one. I drink two of those. That's basically the daily water requirement. So I got my mom a coral Hydro Flask and I got my brother a black Hydro Flask. Can you open the door? Oh, so this way. Okay. Yes. Because you're, you're gesturing to Can you open the thing? Yeah. One and... Okay. Fingers crossed that this bakes thoroughly. Because vegan baking is witchcraft. Oh. Birthday, boy! Birthday, boy! Birthday, Queenie! There you go. Birthday hat. Show me. 
This thing. Ah. There you go. <laughs> birthday, birthday biryani. Hi. Hello. Queen is here for the birthday biryani. It is Tuesday, December 22nd. This arrived. It's a sweater for my dad. This is by Annabelle. Her brand is Piper Blue, or she's also known as Cat Creature here on YouTube. And I'm just gonna leave it to my dad to open it up. I am digging the chartreuse and pink combo for the tissue paper. I want to make my own custom tissue paper, but I'm not sure if it's just going to be wasteful, you know? I'm going to leave this for my dad. His birthday is on New Year's and this is for him. Support artists and support small businesses. Thank you, Annabelle. Hi, I am back home. I'm really tired. This came in the mail today. I got this off of Depop. One of my friends had this back when we went to California. It was from Target, so I knew if I waited a couple months, I'm probably gonna find it on Depop. And alas, I found it on Depop. Oh, it looks like I'm about to go make some sourdough. It's really cute and it's very flattering. After I got my B12 shots, I waited three freaking hours in line to get rapid COVID testing done. The location that I went to was in Long Island City. When it's windy there, you might as well just die. It was a nightmare, but I got tested, came out negative, thank goodness, and yeah. Um, I'm very tired. My mom made me <laughs> my favorite big bowl of instant noodles. As much as I appreciate a roof over my head that I don't have to pay for, I live with my mother, my father, my aunt, and my brother, and it's quite overwhelming when so many people are in one floor at the same time, and it's really hard to focus, and especially as, you know, like literally when I wake up, I see my desk, so I see the place where I work. Now I am starting to like detach myself from my bed, which is supposed to be a space of relaxation. Like I feel like like even when I'm in bed, I'm like, well, I could be working. So I sit on my desk and I start working and I get super exhausted. Since I've graduated, I've been so caught up in, well, if I'm not emailing art directors or actively seeking clients, then I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm someone who is now creating content on the internet and working at their own pace, but still making the same amount of money I would as I would with clients, if that makes any sense. So I've stopped beating myself up over the fact that like I'm not actively seeking work right now. And I'm very glad that I'm able to unwind and take time to myself because of the money that I've made, either through YouTube and especially through my online shop. Even though I'm making more money than I used to, a chunk of that money is just going to go directly towards paying off my student loan debt. I'm pretty beat. Standing for three hours in brick weather is going to take a lot out of you. I am back in my comfy shirt. I just... I finished a slice of the vegan bunt cake I made yesterday. I would show you except I finished it. Good morning. Today is December 24th. It is Christmas Eve. We do have a tiny Christmas tree in the living room for fun. I'm not sure what I'll do for today. I have some more holiday cards to write for friends and family and I'm having Christmas dinner with Julian's parents and I'm not too concerned about it because his parents work from home and I recently got tested for COVID and I haven't been outside since then. It's just gonna be like literally four people, myself included. For tomorrow, it feels weird to just not do things all the time. I still have to play Animal Crossing. I'm a little scared to pick it up because my island is so empty 
In other news, I took off the second skin from my tattoo. This is what he looks like right now. It's still in the process of healing. I think I'm gonna go and try my hand at putting together a sourdough starter. Look who's here. Look who's here. Betty rubs, Betty rubs. I have started my sourdough journey. I might accidentally kill this. I might forget about it. We'll find out if it actually doubles because the temperature in my apartment is spotty literally everywhere. So I think I'm gonna keep it in the living room where it's the warmest. Oh my goodness, okay, okay, okay. Look what arrived in the mail today. Oh my gosh, okay. So this graphic novel was illustrated by Natalie Anderson and her work is amazing. I fucking love her work so much. And this book in particular is incredibly interesting because when she visited our zine class back at SBA in 2018, I think, she does amazing risograph work too. And she was talking about working on this graphic novel and now it's here in the flesh and that is super freaking cool. Just the colors and the like, the life that's in the line work, everything about her work is just Chef's kiss. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit down and read this right now. <laughs> Merry Krimbus. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. Merry Crisis. This is my Christmas outfit. Pants that I got secondhand off Depop. Shirt also secondhand. Nothing is sponsored. I just wanted to show off the fit. My nail polish is chipped and gone. I am going to head over to Julian's place. So we are going to have Christmas dinner and probably play video games. That's it. Hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday, even if you don't celebrate Christmas, because my family doesn't celebrate Christmas, but we enjoy the spirit of it. Happy Kwanzaa, happy Hanukkah, happy Yule uh, for my lovely witches out there. Um, yeah, hope you have a good one in this crazy wild year. Little froggy update, he's doing well. This is hard to control. So that's the challenge of this game. Mm -hmm. You have to roll both in the direction you want to go at the same time. Okay. <laughs> my ankles! <laughs> my ankles! Okay, ready, watch. <laughs> oh, the All snow left. is in my foot! In your shoe! Look how big Julian's feet are. These aren't my shoes. Oh, we should have made snow angels! You know how clean this snow is? We should totally make a snowman. Let's do it. Gloves. Let's make a snowman. All right, I'm gonna start rolling the base from here. Oh, I almost went through the basketball hoop. <laughs> yeah, I almost made a shot. One, two, three. Bikini's making our snow cat. It was gonna be a non-binary snowman, but then what I said was contradictory, so I was like, okay, it's a non-binary snow person. And Julian said, snow homie. And I was like, it's gonna be a snow me. But instead we have a little snow cat. How do you feel? Oh my God, Julian, why are you like this? just got home and my sourdough starter is looking pretty good. Hmm? Jit? Baby? Jit? Oh! <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, frog like that. That's not children, that's not children. Mm -hmm. It's my little mushroom over there. Jit? Crunchy, crunchy. Tea? Crunchy? Oh, thank you for kisses. Morning kisses. No more bagel. The offer is off the table. Good morning. Today is the day after Christmas. I didn't really film much yesterday. I have no perception of time anymore. I'm kind of interchanging between four different shirts and reminding myself to shower. I hope you are also having a relaxing week or relaxing end of the year. I got some gifts and some holiday cards. 
This was a gift from Julian's stepmom. It's a book called Women in Art. I really dig the illustrations in this book. Julian got a book that was about black artists and I was telling him that one day I hope we end up making it into books like this and throughout art history as BIPOC artists, which seems far and beyond, but not impossible. And then I got two holiday cards. I got one from my dear friend Chloe. And then Cheyenne also sent me the cutest holiday postcard. Looks like this. A sweet note on the back. I have an entire empty mooncake tin under my bed filled with letters that I've received in my P.O. box. And I've only responded to, I think the first five that I got when I opened it. I want to write letters back to people who have sent me stuff. As I said, you don't have to feel obliged. I literally have a P.O. box for the sake of having a return address. I have no idea what I'm gonna do today, but I'm just chilling out and I hope you are too. You know when you have the faintest memory of an object? I just bought some vintage Tamagotchi stickers and then it reminded me I had two vintage Tamagotchi film cameras and I have no idea where it went I thought it might be under my bed and instead I found this Rezo print goko machine. It's like a manual risograph printer that you can print from at home and I Don't even know if this works, but I think I'll dedicate an entire video to me trying this out because like look at it it's so cool like there's just like manuals and uh that's the machine right there the hot orange color i don't well i don't know where the cameras went that's the thing and i ended up finding like 50 other things in the process i'm sure this happens to everyone not just me fingers crossed i find the camera Good morning, it is December 28th and I'm having a completely like fangirl moment because I did the thing on Instagram where it's like post a pic of and y'all are pretty creative but I just looked at it and freaking Sophie McPike asked a question and I was just like she knows I exist? What? And I checked and she follows me? She also has a YouTube channel here and I just binge her painting videos all the time because it's so ethereal and magical and the colors are just so freaking juicy and I just... <sighs> Everything about her work is just... And she has the cutest Italian greyhound named Bibi. You ever like look at someone's artwork and it just puts you in the magical world that they've created? That's how I feel about her work. Like I love, I love every... Ooh. Sophie, if you are watching this, I literally have like one of her prints on my shelf up there. Can't wait to frame these beautiful pieces of art. That was a very nice surprise for me today. Got some packages in the mail, including this sweater which is secondhand off of Poshmark. And then I got my holiday trade with Heidi. She sent me a print, these two stickers, the cutest little ghost keychain, and my favorite, this evil queenie ornament. I'm gonna go hang this on our tree later. And then I finally got my art trade with Annie. Her Instagram handle is Tabetai, and she sent me the cutest prints. And I freaking love her art. It's so loose and bubbly and fun. She sent me these two prints. This is her rendition of Hokusai's Great Wave. And then these two girls drinking soda. I remember when she posted this drawing and I was like, I need this as a print so I can hang it outside of my door because I live with family and they constantly bother me. I guess I have the limited edition first run of this print. There's also two versions of that design as a sticker. This cute little sweater print right here. And she made a Buni Kuni, AKA Kuni as a bunny or him wearing his little bunny hat. She also sent me a sweet note, which I didn't realize had another illustration on the back. And these two super adorable stickers. I love this little winter puppy. Everything was also packaged in this lovely printed newsprint and you know I am a sucker for patterns and design. Thank you so much Annie and Heidi. I'm so lucky to know so many cool artists on the internet and to share my work with them and to also have their artwork in my own home. I'm very ready to hang this outside my door. There's so many of them, and look at the moon! You really gotta look after your hands, obviously, whatever arm issues 
Um, I make sure that when I'm drawing, I have good posture, make sure I have a good chair, pressure off that deadline will make sure I get my work done. Um, it's really <laughs> so hard for me to get up in the morning and actually sit down to work. Help me is the Pomodoro technique. Is that what I'll usually do is I have a calendar, like a Google calendar with um, alerts of when something is Good evening. It's... December 29th. It is a Tuesday. Why are there two more days until the year ends? Every time I look at the footage that I've had for this vlog, I just remember packing orders, building a snowman, getting a tattoo, and then just playing a bit of Animal Crossing. I really hope this vlog is still entertaining in some way because it's mostly just me talking and I definitely have lost all conception of time. I need to do my roots again. I'm like really really greasy and they're <laughs> so long. I feel both tired and also well rested at the same time. Look at the frog! The other day I went on a walk through Greenwood Cemetery and it's probably one of the most scenic places that I know of. Greenwood Cemetery is open to the public so people can walk through it and there's this amazing castle in there and it's so beautiful and makes me feel nostalgic because it reminds me of Termina Field from Majora's Mask. I really like it because it can get really really silent there and it feels like I can actually listen to my thoughts and it's also just a really beautiful cemetery. There are lots of geese there. I'm gonna moisturize the froggy. Froggy is no longer ashy. It was nice to kind of get back in This doesn't look right, but it's fine. I don't even drink my tea like this. Tea drinkers with oat milk give me a rating. I am reporting to you from my kitchen, and by my kitchen I mean my family's kitchen because I don't pay the rent here. This isn't bad. This reminds me of the tea my parents would make me when I was younger. And then I became a person that only drank black coffee. I'm usually never in the kitchen because every time I'm in the kitchen, someone else is in the kitchen and then I can never really film. I will never bring my tripod in here. I'll maybe film with my phone and that's it. I'm gonna do my roots right now because they're- I'm so greasy. I think every time I give myself the chance to relax, I realize how much I've been lacking on sleep. This kitchen like gives me hella anxiety because there's just so much stuff. This kitchen is bigger than my bedroom because we live in a pre-war building, so it's fairly spacious. The kitchen window is bigger than our bedroom windows. If you want to know what a New York City apartment is like, because this has not been renovated at all, I live on the last floor so there's just like hella water damage on the ceiling. Like the paint was like peeling off and I poked it and it just exploded. We painted the walls on this side so they're like pretty bright white and then you like turn over here and it's like grease nightmare. But right now I'm grease nightmare so let me go and do my roots right now. Good morning. It's New Year's Eve and I look like an egg. It's a little bizarre that the year is already over. I think this will be the last clip that I film to wrap up this vlog. We made it. We made it through this year. No matter how productive you were or if you didn't get things done, it doesn't matter. Just remember to thank the body that got you through this pandemic. I know people lost weight, people gained weight, and whatever it is, remember that this is the body that got you through this year. You shouldn't have to beat yourself up over literally one of the most unpredictable years of what seems like our entire lifetime. I'm doing a light bit of work and I'm planning some stuff out. I'm sketching things, which is nice. Uh, I just sketched a calendar printable and I really want to do a yearly calendar that's going to be Resograph printed. Thinking about all of the videos that I want to make and the things that I want to have for my next shop update because I really want to make enamel pins. Going into the new year, I have a lot of things changing in my life. I believe I will register myself as self-employed going into 2021 considering that I make more money than I would having a day job but I need to keep track of that because my shop isn't going to be open all the time and that that's why I've considered opening a Patreon and hopefully having a Patreon will provide me with some consistent income. And if that's not the case, then I can always, you know, reach out to art directors, which has been the biggest stressful thing to think about because you're sort of waiting for a response from a huge company. I still want to do those things too. It's just I want to create a foundation for myself 
so when I'm not getting responses from emails that I know I can still have a roof over my head because I would theoretically love to move out within the next year, maybe in spring or summer or even fall, no matter how long it takes, I want to make sure that I'm completely able to sustain myself. I need to make sure I can rely on myself and do all of these things because I love making art, but I also have to make sure that I'm taking care of myself as a person too and making sure that I have the financial capability to do so. The thought of this is so exciting but also frightening at the same time. I remember when I was in freshman year of college, there was a time I opened the Chase Bank app in my phone and there was 11 cents in my bank account. I don't know how I existed that way, but that was the situation of my life. In college, not knowing how the hell I would pay off student loans, let alone exist and afford things day to day. And here I am now, which is amazing. I was talking to my therapist about this and she was like, you have exited this period of survival and now you're in this period of achieving. The struggle is still there, obviously, but right now it feels like I have some ground beneath my feet where I can grow and make room for for greater things and I am so so grateful for that. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I did not know where this would take me. I'm gonna go bleach my roots again. Hopefully the intro and outro is going to be me looking a little bit more decent and if not that's fine. Totally cool. Welcome back if you uh, made it this far. <laughs> Thanks again for vicariously living through my vlogs and watching my content and following my content, interacting with my content. I don't know what 2021 holds for me but I hope it's good things. And I hope it's good things for all of us collectively because we've definitely gone through a shit year. And honestly, there's a lot of healing for all of us. I have a lot of things that are planned for 2021, like launching a Patreon and potentially even moving, which is scary and exciting. I don't know what this year holds for me. I'm very grateful that you guys have my back when it comes to being someone sharing their work on the internet. And thank you so much for sticking around. I really hope I can spend more time making stuff because it does take quite a while to edit these vlogs but at the end they're rewarding I guess. It feels so bizarre that an entire year has gone by and I hope that y'all have just been hanging in there. It fills my heart to the brim knowing that people have seen my videos or my illustrations and they're getting back into art or they feel the motivation to expand their area of creativity and I feel that way too when I look at other artists. So I'm very happy to also be a catalyst of creativity and positivity. Feel free to leave a comment. Any feedback would greatly be appreciated. Give this video a like. If you want to continue vicariously living through my life, hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys are staying safe and doing well. I hope that this year treats us all better than it did last year. I hope that the new year brings opportunity for all of us. I think I've said thank you at least three times now. But thanks again, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.